Close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stay with the breath. As you do that, you develop some good qualities in the mind. Mindfulness, the ability to keep something in mind. Concentration, the ability to stay settled with one thing. And you start developing some discernment. You begin to realize how the mind wanders off. You can catch it. You start seeing through the different ways in which the mind lies to itself. It says it's going to do one thing and then it does something else. So you're developing good qualities in the mind. And the more you stick with it, the more they develop. The mind has two basic activities, developing things and letting them go. The problem is we're pretty random in how we do that. Sometimes we develop good qualities and then we drop them for a bit and develop laziness in their place. Lack of focus, apathy. Then we pick up and turn around and do some good qualities again, go back and forth like this. The same thing with letting go. Sometimes we let go some really good things. So what the Buddha is teaching us to do is to be more consistent in developing what's good and abandoning what's unskillful. Then we begin to really see results. Otherwise, if you do it just a little bit here and there, you stay with the breath a little bit, then wander off a bit, then come back for the breath. It doesn't really change much in the mind. It's only when you are consistently here and keep at it, keep at it, keep at it, that you begin to realize that this simple exercise can really make a big difference, really strengthen some really good qualities, and help you see through the mind's tendency to want to switch back to something unskillful for no good reason at all. So as long as the mind is developing and abandoning, try to develop something good and abandon things that are not good. Try to be consistent in that. And you find that your consistency has some power. No matter what your age, the mind can be trained. And you're going to need a well-trained mind as you go through life, especially as you come toward the end. Aging comes, illness comes, death comes. If the mind isn't trained, it's all over the place, creating all kinds of unnecessary suffering for itself. So you're still lucent and cogent. Try to make sure you've got some good qualities developed in the mind so you can have them to depend on when you need them. And we need them all the time, but we need them more and more as we get older. So when you have free time, you can use it to develop the mind instead of developing other things. And you find that no matter what your age, the mind can still grow.